Hi guys, it's me Jenna with the Why Witch Parlor and today I just want to give you a little pep talk about stepping back into your power or really coming into or realizing your power and reclaiming it. A lot of us start to get stuck in this mundane energy and we accept things as they are because sometimes it's just easier not to change things and not to reclaim your power but really you have to start looking at what is taking your power, who is taking your power, what are you giving giving away your energy to that isn't serving you for your highest purpose. And that's really what this is all about, is stepping back into your highest purpose and uniting your heart and mind so that you can live the most fulfilling, beautiful life. If you're stuck in a job or a situation that is just taking so much of your energy and you feel yourself constantly falling into the negative energy around you instead of using that energy to put into something beneficial to your own soul growth or something that ignites you and makes you feel passionate again about your life then you're giving away your energy to the wrong source so you need to start pulling it back in this does not mean you should go searching for this energy of reigniting your soul by looking elsewhere or looking for someone to bring this energy to you what it is is you going within yourself to really find that magnetic energy force that will just start calling in all these positive things into your life so if you're able to achieve this balance of your heart and your mind and what you really want out of life and what you really want on this journey that you've chosen for yourself then you really need to step into that balance and that harmony within yourself and to get there you need to focus on the things that make you happiest so whenever you have energy don't give it away to things that are draining your energy rather try to channel that energy into something beneficial and something that will uplift your soul when you meditate on simple things like gratitude you call in more gratitude into your life and things that you can be grateful for if you focus on opening your throat and heart chakra you will also find that not only do you learn how to speak your truth properly but you also start living from the heart space meaning that if it's not a heck yes then you shouldn't engage in it you should try to keep your distance from it because it's not going to ignite you so all these tiny tiny little moments and decisions that you make throughout each day they change so much of the course on your journey and these little tiny decisions and energy that you're putting out and receiving also add up to the bigger picture of your life one way you can tap back into this energy is find what makes you feel youthful again what makes you feel young and vibrant often it's stuff that we used to engage and participate in as we were young adults or teenagers that really made us excited about life and all the things that we had to look forward to and we tend to tune that out as we get older and then we suddenly have bills to pay and stresses to deal with and we lose sight of those beautiful magnetic things that used to light us up completely so when you step back into your power and you call back your power every night then you start to have this extra energy of abundance around you that you can use to fulfill these passions that used to drive you a lot of this energy ties back into love and self-love because that is the most powerful love you're ever going to give or receive is love for yourself unconditionally love for your heart and your mind all these things in unison go together hand in hand to really ignite your spirit it's easy to start making excuses for why you can't do certain things right now but really again it's these little tiny moments that add up over time that can really ignite you after just a few months sometimes for some of us it might take a year or two to really regain that footing but it's finding the awareness of what is taking your energy who what places take your energy away from you in a negative way you should surround yourself with people that just completely light you up and if you're not finding that around you then sometimes it's better to retreat and stay in a solitude space after all the best way is to not seek this enlightenment or this awakening within your own soul from other sources so don't look for it outside of 
yourself look for it within yourself and it's already there so there's nothing you have to do to get it into your space it's already in your soul so you have to just go back within who you really are and the essence of your actual spiritual vibration and how you want to use that energy to basically broadcast to the world your passions and put that energy out because that will basically in return come back to you tenfold and you will realize that within a few months your life will completely change for the better this is not a journey that's always going to be easy and it's actually very hard it's one of the hardest like battles is that battle of the heart and mind and finding that balance and that harmony within yourself but it's worth all the time effort and practice because once you find this energy it will light you up so high vibrationally you will just call in the most beautiful things into your life without even trying and then you'll start to see synchronicities and stuff that will help to guide you and show you that you're on the correct path if ever you feel like in your life you're starting to struggle or starting to feel really weighed down just often constantly or just tired a lot feeling fatigued it's usually because you're way out of alignment with yourself and it's easy to get stuck in that energy and that vibration for months years even some people go through it for a decade and they just accept it they just assume that this is what life is now and this is how I will carry on but this is not true this is when you learn to recognize what's going on who's taking your energy what's taking your energy your job might be taking your energy and how to reclaim it once you identify what you're wasting or spending too much time effort and energy on that is not fulfilling you to your highest good then you can come back and step into your power you can start to journal what it is you want out of life what it is you crave out of your life and what it is you're feeling kind of lost and away from like you've stepped back from things that you're not doing anymore things that used to light you up that you've just put on the back burner for a while maybe it's time to step back into those things because if they once lit you up in the past and they got you in a really high alignment with yourself then perhaps those are the things that you were meant to be doing so you will find that your passions will ignite once you start jumping right into them and excuses are so easy to make and it's easy to continuously make excuses saying oh you're so tired um, you know anything like that but if you stop and you say well if I just invest 20 30 minutes of something that ignites me you'll find that after just doing something that really excites you makes you feel fulfilled or accomplished then those 30 minutes will actually light you back up and give you abundant energy again because now you'll feel like you're making progress on something in your life that you love doing so you have to step back in that alignment step back in that self-realization and these are the aspects of how you will find that self-love again it's all within you and it's a beautiful energy and this is just a little channeled message I wanted to share with you all today to help keep you high vibe and on a really fun spiritual path and it's not always easy um, but that is how you evolve and through the darkness you find your light so sometimes you might go through some of the darkest moments of your life those are the ones that will make you realize how bright that light at the end of the tunnel really is and those are the things that will just completely transform you as beautiful things do grow in the dark like babies in a womb like seeds in the soil it's all a space for new growth and creation so always take that into consideration too if you're going through any dark moments of your spiritual growth which are never easy or dark nights of the soul it is always room for transformation it is a space in the house in which you can transform and turn into a beautiful butterfly so i hope you enjoyed this little love guided meditation channeled message for you all i love you all so very much have a beautiful and blessed day Mwah. bye